Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. I hope y'all had a good weekend. So it is time to talk about this culture vulture, Vlad, once again. I've been telling y'all about him and his antics for a while. But again, I don't hit on every Vlad TV story because I don't care. But this one is going viral. So let me go ahead and take it back. Even before we get into the whole Vlad versus Marlon Wayne situation, I've been peeping that, that Vlad has been throwing a lot of shade at successful black men out here, particularly Shannon Sharp, okay? We all know that Shannon Sharp did one of the best interviews ever, which was the Shannon Sharp Cat Williams interview. You couldn't go anywhere without folks talking about it. Hell, I literally watched that full interview minimum three times, maybe four, but I know it was a minimum of three times I watched that full interview because I just could not believe, you know, just everything that Cat Williams was hitting on. I only put on comedians that are funnier than me. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. We all know that that interview went crazy viral. And then on top of that, Shannon Sharp chopped it up into little parts, okay? So as somebody who is a content creator, I know for a fact that Mr. Shannon Sharp, honey, he definitely got one of the biggest YouTube bags off of that interview, okay? So a lot of people have been trying to guess like how much he made. Me, personally, I don't count people's pockets. Whatever God blesses you with, amen, and thank you, Lord Jesus, that is your blessing, okay? But Vlad, you know kept trying to make it a point saying that Shannon Sharp was over-exaggerating. There's no way that he made $6 million. He says for all of those videos, including the cut-up ones, that Shannon Sharp is lucky if he made 500000 So let me go ahead and play this clip for y'all really quick. Check this out. This was him on the Marcellus Wiley show. Ellie's sick. People always accuse me of hating because... Do you? Well, I did <laughs> a couple of interviews... Because Shannon Sharp put it out there where he basically claimed that he made like $6 million off that one interview. And I said, as someone who's been on YouTube longer than everybody, those numbers aren't adding up. Okay, what you think? What you think it really was? Off of YouTube alone, maybe about half a million. Half? About half. For 60 some million views? Yeah. What about all the cut ups? About half a million dollars. I swear. That's, that's a lot of money. I, I, I'm betting North for that. Because I know. Maybe a million. Listen, I do around 50 million views a month on my channel. You do 50 million? Yes. What's your CPM, though? Pretty good. You see, you don't want to do the map. Pretty see, good. See, this is different. No, no, no. Cause Say cause the I'm damn not, number so gonna, we can get no, there. No, but I know how much I make every month. And yes, I know it's a full interview. There's multiple ads, but we, there's a lot of full interviews every month. So I know it's it's nowhere that, near that you amount. you come with the numbers so I could just make this? No, I think that it's amount. north. If we yeah. on prices right, I'm Okay, betting. so if it's a million, that's not six million. One thing I don't like about Shannon, me and him have actually, because he agreed to do my show back in the day, and then I got the runner, oh, talk to my PR person, whatever else. That's cool. You don't have to do Vlad TV. But the one thing that I don't like about Shannon is that he has all these people coming to his show, but he doesn't do anybody else's shows. Oh. Is that real? Have you ever seen him get interviewed by someone else? But that kind of rubs me the wrong way because it should be a system where we're all helping each other out. I've always said this, and you could see it in my actions. If you come to Vlad TV and you have your own podcast, I will do your show. Mm -hmm. I get Academics, it. Charlemagne, Math Hoffa, even if it's not a big show. If you came and did my show, I will do your show. Good. You're doing my show because it's not a big yeah, show. Let let's do it. 100%. <laughs> no. 100%. Even but if you're doing what you did before which is obligating somebody to be as nice as you, Vlad, be as good as you, Vlad. And yeah. maybe that's your blind spot because that's a beautiful thing. And I, me and you in the same spot. That's cool. But just like 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 what happened with Stephen A. All of a sudden, I need a clearance. And I, Shannon is killing it right now. Maybe he'll need something from you. All right, so you guys just heard that clip. And in my personal opinion, I feel like Shannon Sharp made well over a million dollars. I don't know if it's exactly six million, but I feel like in my heart of hearts, oh, that man walked away with a huge bag. One million plus minimum, okay? 
But one of the things I find funny is that Vlad was saying that what he doesn't like about Shannon is not only does Shannon ghost him and not go on his show, but he says that Shannon doesn't go on other people's show. You know, Shannon only promotes his podcast. He doesn't like to, you know, collaborate with other people. Now, this is very interesting, right? Because as a sports fan, okay, I myself have seen Shannon Sharp on other people's shows. I'm like, what the fuck is Vlad talking about? He's been in the Up and Smoke podcast. He does Nightcap with Ocho Cinco. He's been on Stephen A. Smith's podcast. Shannon Sharp has even done stuff with Cam Newton. He's been on a lot of other people's podcasts, but guess what? He comes from the sports world. He's not a he's not a hip hop artist. He's not a rapper. Why would he go on a Vlad TV? He comes from the sports world. So obviously he wants to, you know, collaborate with other people who are into sports. You know what I mean? This is a elitist club. Sports people did with sports people. Hip hop people did with hip hop people. Move on and get over it. So he lied right there. That was total cap. But what I find funny is that for years, Vlad didn't really do interviews with people who had smaller platforms or people that he deemed beneath him. Let's keep that real. He really didn't start collaborating with other content and YouTube creators until his views started dying. And people started getting smart and were like, well, you know, my videos on your platform are going viral. You're making all this money off of me. I need a check. See, now people are getting smart. Now people want to check for these interviews. But back then, people didn't want to check. So when he was the king, king of YouTube and the king of interviews, he wasn't trying to slum with the so-called peasants, okay? He wasn't trying to do collaborations with, you know, with smaller content creators or people who had, you know, under a million subscribers. He wasn't doing Math Hoffa and stuff like that. He only really started doing that once his platform was being affected. He wanted to get his, you know, himself out there more. Back in the day, he didn't even come on camera. Now he's on Pierce Morgan. Now he's on the hat map. Now he's on Math Hoffa. Now he's with DJ Academics and on other people's stuff. He only started doing that in recent years, okay? Um, even back in the day, Charlemagne the God would go on Vlad TV, but Charlemagne didn't really have a platform outside of the Breakfast Club. But Vlad kind of kept to himself, okay? Um, just like with Adam22, he wasn't doing a whole lot of cross-collaborating until as of late. Once all them black dudes left and his views tanked, now you see these cross-collaborations. You see him going on Vlad TV and stuff like that. So it's like a lot of hate and salt has been coming from Vlad ever since these views have been tanking. So now let's talk about what went down with him and Marlon Wayans. So what happened is that a week ago, Vlad released a part of an interview that he did with comedian Aerie Spears. And in that interview... He was basically telling Ari Spears that Marlon Wayans asked for $40,000 and 30% of future revenue if he was to appear on Vlad TV. Now, him bringing this up to another comedian, to me, is messy right off the rip, okay? But I want y'all to go ahead and listen to this clip really quick. Speaking of the Wayans, and I'm actually going to break this little story here for the first time. We reached out to Marlon Wayans about doing an interview. And he had to speak to his uh, person who, uh, you know, coordinates this stuff. Do you know how much they asked for a Marlon Wayans interview? I can't wait to hear it. 40000 plus 30% of all future revenue. <laughs> this is the part where I'm going to show a lot of growth. Because once upon a time ago, I would have just like a chainsaw went and let my mouth run. And it probably puts me in positions that I shouldn't or don't want to be in. So I'm going to take this moment to grow as a human being and back out of this. All right, so y'all just heard the clip. So like I said, him bringing that up to Aerie Spears is messy. And it's almost like you're trying to get this black man to throw daggers at another black man. But Aerie's kind of, you know, clocked the T and was like, you know what? I'm not even going to really say too much. It is what it is. So once that went viral on social media, somebody had uh, added Marlon Wayans on Twitter and they said the following Marlon Wayans you a good one because at Vlad TV would have to pay me 500000 for an interview with 55% of all revenue made from the video on all platforms okay so Marlon responded back and said see I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal oh well so once Vlad caught wind of that Vlad was not happy he was definitely in his feelings so he responded back to uh, Marlon. He says this, Marlon Wayans found somebody with 200 followers to agree with him. LOL. Nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon Wayans 40K for an interview when he only gets 100 to 300K views on any platform he interviews on. This guy is really delusional. 
So then he took screenshots of him on uh, Jimmy Kimmel, The Breakfast Club, and on somebody else's child. I don't know who, somebody else's platform. And he showed the views. Then Marlon replied back to Vlad and he said the following. You mad? You unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like the number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back. Mad at a black man for stating his number. Now you go public and use your platform to try and drag me. I never in my life dealt with such silly negotiation tactics. And then Vlad replies back. He says, not mad at all. I find this amusing because you really think you're worth 40K for an interview. I said, there's nobody on earth that will pay you that. And I have yet to be proven wrong. Throwing out a stupid ass number for an interview is unprofessional, my guy. Marlon says, you've been teetering on disrespect and I've been a gentleman up until this point. This was tactless, unprofessional, and petty. You out here trying to tear down the king. You trying to instigate beef within my community and peers. And it won't happen, fella. I'm loved. Then someone says, at Vlad is acting like views matter more than the legacy of at Marlon Wayne's and the Wayne's family. Put some respect on the Wayne's family. They are deep. Then Marlon Wayne posted a video from YouTube and he says, at Vlad, you are way too hated by the urban community to fuck with me. I'm loved, you ain't. Watch the video. Where's your face? How much the government paying you, Brody? Hope it's, hope it's at least 40K. And the video is called Why Black Celebrities Will Never Respect Vlad TV. So then Marlon Wayne says, yo, at Vlad TV, your beard is made from Ice Spice's ass hair. Then Vlad responds and he says, Marlon Wayne's, I'm sorry you don't find me attractive. Fortunately for both of us, I'm heterosexual. Between your recent gay photo shoot and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman, this would be this would be a perfect time to fully come out of the closet. Coming out as gay in 2024 will surely revive your declining acting career. Since I turned down your 40K for an interview, I'm pretty sure you can get that amount for your first gay porn scene. Marlon Gaines would be an awesome porn name, by the way. So Marlon responds back and he says, is any of that funny though? So now you exploit blacks and punch down gays? Tis tis. You want to be hated by everyone I see. Vlad, nobody wants you. Your own dick won't let you touch it and it me too you. Then Marlon Wayne posts an old picture of Vlad and says, hey Vlad, how you go from this to this? Turkey? Meaning Vlad got that infamous hookup hairline from Turkey. Then he also posted this and says, this is Vlad after his next hair transplant surgery. Then he posted another video where it says, why doesn't hip hop respect Vlad TV? And Marlon says, this is why we don't fuck with you, Vlad. You're lame. I ain't the first, but thus may be your last. We're pulling that beard back today, fella. Exposed. Then Marlon says, now I'm done. Most of my followers are saying, who the fuck is at Vlad? So that was their messy back and forth. And I find the whole situation, you know, just comical that he's upset that Marlon has a price. Now, is $40,000 plus 33% revenue steep for an interview? I think it is. But again, Marlon knows his worth. And if that's how much he wants to charge, that is Marlon's business. Like I always tell people, the only thing that we control in this world is ourselves. We don't control anybody else or how anybody else reacts to a situation. So maybe the $40,000 request is too much for Vlad, but Vlad can just politely decline and keep it pushing instead of bringing it up in interviews trying to be messy. At the end of the day, I, let's, let's keep it real. At the end of the day, Vlad is just mad that he can't get over on Marlon like he does a lot of other rappers and, you know, people that come on his platform. But, you know, anybody with common sense would look at it like this, okay? $40,000 is high for an interview. But I believe the reason why he's quoting him so high, it's not really that confusing, but he's quoting him that high amount is because he really doesn't want to do the interview. Sometimes when people don't want to do business with other people, sometimes you'll quote people a super high price so that way they get the message that they can't afford you and let's just not do business, you know? So I think that's really what Marlon was saying. I think if somebody else asked Marlon and somebody that Marlon liked, let's say like a Shannon Sharp, Marlon would go see Shannon Sharp for free. He may charge somebody else 5000 but because he doesn't like Vlad, He's like, I'm going to try and milk this for what I can and charge him 40000 And so if Vlad doesn't like that and he feels like that price is outrageous, then at that point you just move on and let it go. So once again, Vlad is showing his true colors. 
Now in other news, we gotta hit on this really quick. So there had been rumors for a while that Sexy Red was starting a new business venture with some not so safe for work lip glosses. Um, I remember when she was asking the names a few months ago, well, it looks like her lip glosses are officially out. Um, and some of these names are just disgusting. She actually went with the names and she's promoting her lip glosses by putting them on her ass as if lip gloss goes on the ass. I just hate that everything about her is just so ratchet and dusty. But basically she says this, Boss Lady speaking, new improved at Sexy Red Products is back better than ever. Introducing Northside Princess, the brand at Get Northside. My first product will be my lip gloss, Coochie Juice, Booty Hole Brown, Nut Pussy Hole Pink, Yellow Discharge, Gonorrhea, Blue Ball, Sex on My Period, Fruit Scented. So a lot of people are just like, this is disgusting. What the hell is this girl thinking? But these are the actual, these are the actual flavors. Yellow Discharge. Bitch, if you have yellow discharge, you might want to go to a doctor and get that checked out. Gonorrhea, really? Blue balls? Sex on my period? Like booty hole brown? Pussy hole pink? Coochie juice? It's like, have we fallen this far as a society that this is what we're naming lip glosses? And this is what we're selling to children. Because it's mainly young people who follow her. Grown folks are not following her like that. So when your 12 year old is running around with gonorrhea lip gloss and sex on my period lip gloss, uh, don't say I didn't warn you. This is just disturbing. It's just tacky. Um, but I'm sure we live in a day and age where people love degenerate bullshit. She will sell out. People will buy it. And she'll be bragging about how rich she is. Um, but I feel like words have power. And I'm not going to put anything around me called gonorrhea, anything around me called sex on my period. I'm, I'm not rubbing that on my lips. Coochie juice, absolutely not. But, you know, good luck to her in this ratchet lip gloss. Will you guys be copping it? Keep it real, okay? Because I know some of y'all probably ready, you know, sexy, take my money. Just take all my money, girl. Some of y'all got that damn lip gloss. Don't front in the comment section, honey. Um, so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading everybody's comments. Let me know your thoughts on all of this craziness going on on social media, the back and forth with DJ Vlad and Marlon Wayans, and also how do you feel about Vlad also hating on Shannon Sharp, you know, about two months ago. And do you feel like, you know, he's right to feel away about what Marlon is charging, or do you feel like, you know what, the price is the price. If that's what Marlon wants to charge, that is his business. Last but not least, let me know what you guys think about Sexy Red's new lip glosses. Will you be copping them? Will you not be copying them? And how do you feel about these names that she named her lip gloss? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family.